Hello friends, welcome to Book Talk. Today I have for you a novel uh, by world uh, renowned film director Satyajit Ray. Recently I had an opportunity to go through his works. Uh, they are marvelous. The original Bengali title of uh, this particular novel is Gang Gangtoke Gondogol. In English it would mean uh, Trouble in uh, Gangtok. Uh, this novello or short novel featuring a uh, private detective Feluda was first published uh, in the Desh magazine in 1970 and then published uh, in book form in uh, 1971 by Ananda Publishers. The main characters of this book are uh, Pradosh Chand Mittar, also known as Feluda, Tepesh Ranjan Mittar, also known as uh, Topshi, Sasadar Bos and Dr. Vaidya are the names of the same character and then you have Nishikanto Sarkar followed by Helmut Unger and Virendra Shilvankar are the names of the same character. So Helmut Ungankar and Virendra Shilvankar are the names of the same character. Next is Shivkumar Shilvankar and then you have the curator of the Tibetan Institute. The story is a, uh, an intricate one. It is about, uh, it's a murder mystery. Uh, so friends, please be very attentive. Feluda and Topse travel to Gangtok for the summer holidays on the start of the Bengali uh, New Year while uh, eating breakfast at uh, Bagdogra airport. Uh, they meet a man by the name of uh, Sasadar Bose, Sasadar Bose, who works for a chemical uh, firm dealing with uh, aromatic uh, perfumes. He tells that he had attended a nephew's uh, wedding in Ghatshila and after that he has come to Sikkim. While stopping at a place called uh, Tista Bazaar, the trio then discovers uh, about an accident that took place in the North uh, Sikkim uh, Highway. Uh, they learn that a huge boulder had crashed on the taxi and the taxi fell off uh, the cliff but the river but the driver I'm sorry escaped unhurt. Feluda and Topsy are uh, staying at uh, Hotel Snowview while uh, Sasadar Bose is staying in the dark bungalow. In the evening Sasadar Bose comes to uh, Feluda's uh, hotel and informs him that the man who fell down the cliff in the accident was in fact his uh, partner Shiv Kumar Shilvankar who was also the owner of the company. Sudhak uh, Sasadar Bos uh, walks out of the hotel to find a flight to Bombay the next day. This is when uh, Feluda meets uh, another Bengali in the hotel by the name of Nishikanto uh, Sarkar. He uh, reveals that uh, he had a statue of a Tibetan uh, god named Yamantak which uh, had nine uh, heads and uh, 34 hands. He says that he had sold uh, the statue to Shilvankar for a uh, thousand rupees. Uh, while walking on the road, they meet uh, a German hippie, Helmut uh, Unger, who tells them more about uh, uh, Shilvankar. He tells them that he had a son whom he loved, but the son ran away uh, from his father. Helmut uh, tells uh, Feluda that on the day of the accident, uh, Mr. Shilvankar and he were supposed to have uh, gone to Gumpa, a place on way to Singik. But uh, Helmut last moment changed his program and left early uh, to take some uh, photographs. He reveals to Feluda that uh, Shilvankar used to keep the statue with him in his pocket as he thought it to be a lucky charm. But after the accident, the statue had gone missing. Uh, Helmet also tells uh, that the reason of uh, this uh, superstition is because of the advice of a certain Dr. Vaidya. Later in the evening, Feluda and uh, Topse go to the Tibetan Institute to learn more about uh, this particular uh, charm, the statue. Feluda uh, asks the driver of the taxi he is uh, traveling in to come in the morning uh, the next day because he wants to see the scene of the accident. <coughs> They reach the Tibetan Institute where the curator declares 
that the Yamantak which uh, Shail Vankar uh, had would uh, cost a little more than 10,000 rupees. Feluda returns to the hotel to find Bose waiting for him. Bose tells uh, Feluda that tomorrow he will be leaving for uh, Bombay. Next day, Nishikanto Sarkar uh, tells uh, Feluda that someone threw a piece of paper uh, in his room. The paper consisted of a Tibetan word uh, which simply meant death. Later, Feluda and Topse travel to the accident site. There, Feluda finds a white button. He also reveals that uh, someone had tried to make the make uh, the boulder fall by using a strong iron rod and that this accident was nothing else but a well-planned murder. Feluda sends uh, a telegram to Bose asking him to uh, come back to uh, gang talk. The next day, Nishikanto Sarkar, Helmut Unger, Topse, and Feluda travel to Ramtek for uh, seeing the Lama dance. Feluda learns through a telegram that uh, Shivankar's estranged son is uh, very well present in Sikkim monastery, in one of the monasteries, and a detective agency has uh, found the same. Then Feluda hears someone shouting, he and Topse come to the source of the sound and find that uh, Mr. Sarkar had been pushed down the cliff. They rescue him and they come back to gang talk. In the evening, they come to the dark bungalow where uh, Helmet is uh, staying. There they meet a strange uh, looking man. Uh, Helmet introduces himself as uh, Dr. Vaidya. Dr. Vaidya who specializes in taking to souls in talking to souls, I'm sorry, of the departed, tells all of them through Shilvankar's uh, spirit that he was murdered and uh, Virend is uh, responsible for his death. Helmut tells that Virend is uh, Shilvankar's uh, only son. Dr. Vaidya tells uh, Feluda that tomorrow he will be traveling to uh, Pemian Gachi. Next morning, Topse finds a paper near Feluda's ashtray. The paper consists of the same Tibetan word meaning death. Feluda tells uh, Topse that today he will uh, conduct an experiment on the North Sikkim Highway. After conducting the experiment, Feluda concludes that the murder was done by first uh, hitting uh, Shilvankar with a rod and then throwing the vehicle down the cliff. Then a boulder was thrown to make it look like an accident. The driver was bribed while Feluda was uh, telling this, a boulder comes crashing down. Topse, uh, Topshi uh, saves Feluda from being uh, crushed. In the evening, Helmet comes to Feluda's room and shows him uh, two photographs. The photographs were taken during the crime. Uh, it shows a man wearing red clothes uh, standing on top of the mountain and seeing the car falling. When Feluda tells that this is that man, Virend, Helmet tells that it is impossible because he is only Virend. He tells Feluda and Topshi that he did not like his father marrying twice and thus ran away from home. Then his father approached a detective agency to find his son. Then Helmet or Virend, you could say, came to Sikkim. Helmet tells Feluda that he suspects the doctor Vaidya to be the <coughs> murderer. They decide to travel to Pemian Gachi to apprehend Dr. Vaidya. They pull in <coughs> Mr. Sarkar also. Next day, while traveling to Pemian Gachi, Sasadar Bose also follows uh, them and requests them to also take him. They reach uh, Pemian Gachi in the evening. There they find that Dr. Vaidya is not there, but he has left uh, his uh, uh, stick in the dark bungalow. Uh, Feluda then uh, announces that uh, Sasadar Bose is the killer. He killed uh, Shailvanka to take over uh, the ownership of his company. When Bose says that he had gone to his uh, nephew's wedding uh, uh, during the murder, thereby creating an alibi, Feluda reminds him that in the Bengali calendar, no wedding is held during the month of uh, Chaitra, since it is an inauspicious month, and that uh, they had come together to Sikkim during the starting of the month of Baisak. 
the first month of uh, the Bengali calendar. Uh, Feluda tells uh, that uh, Sasadar Bose and Dr. Vaidya are the same uh, person. Uh, Dr. Vaidya told uh, Shail Wankar about his own life and impressed him. While going to uh, the Gumpa, Dr. Vaidya and Shail Wankar traveled in the same car. Then Dr. Vaidya or uh, you could say Sasadar Bose, uh, who happened to be the same person, uh, hit uh, Shail Wankar. Uh, with a rod and murdered him. Then he came back to Kolkata. Uh, then as a Sasadar boss, he traveled in the same plane with uh, Feluda. Dr. Vaidya tried to put the blame on uh, uh, Virend, but even when he did not know that helmet was actually uh, Virend. When he saw that Feluda was uh, conducting an investigation, he tried to kill um, Feluda. Feluda also tells that uh, Mr. Sarkar wanted to steal the statue of uh, Yamantak uh, from uh, Shail Wankar. So after the murder, murder, he came down to find the same, but both saw him and started harassing him. Both tries to escape, but is caught by, by uh, the leeches around. Feluda finds the statue in the belongings of uh, the Sasadar boss. Sasadar Bose is arrested and Feluda solves one of his uh, most uh, complex cases. So friends, it's an interesting story, a very sweet story. Um, uh, if you ever get find this story, you can read the story. Uh, it's not a very lengthy story. And I would give, give it 7 out of 10. In, incidentally, let me also say that most of these stories written by Satyajit Ray are extremely interesting. So um, that goes to show that he was not only a master movie maker, but he was an excellent uh, story writer too. Uh, so goodbye friends and uh, see you soon.